Hey future millionaires, welcome back to my channel. It's Ellie, AKA Ellie Talks Money, your favorite business coach. So you all know I am all about helping you to create multiple income streams, leverage business credit, and live your best life. And within that, I wanna make sure you guys are able to be as productive as possible, okay? I know that day by day, you've got kids to raise, you've got a job maybe, you've got things to handle, and running your business requires a lot of discipline and a lot of productivity. So in the, today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top tips for being more productive. You guys know I'm a mom of four, four babies, and my youngest are actually twins. They just turned three years old. So I too have a lot of pieces, but here are some of my ways to stay productive, all right? So let's get right into it. Ellie talks money to create the better days. Business, money, life, the Ellie way. All right, y'all, welcome back into the video. So let's talk productivity hacks, okay? Now, the number one thing that really helps me to be more productive and helps all my clients and students as well is to use to-do lists, okay? Y'all, please don't keep everything in your head. That is the absolute worst thing you could do when it comes to wanting to be productive. The more you can actually let out on paper, the better, okay? So to-do lists can be everything that is priority for you in that day. I would say your top five things put on the list for that day. And the relief you get in checking off those items is amazing. It's just like, you know, you feel yourself relaxing. You feel your anxiety going away when you check off an item from your to-do list. And you want, you start to crave that reward. That is something that can really help you to be productive. The second tip I wanna give you guys is actually to use time blocks. So you can use your calendar on Google or Outlook. There's also a really great app called Timestamp, which allows you to create time blocking in your schedule. This is going to help you be productive because when you set aside a one hour or two hour block to do specific tasks in your business, nothing is interrupting you in that time, okay? That is your window to get this work done. So I use time blocking for content creation. I use time block blocking for co-working. I use time blocking for meetings. I also use time blocking for going live, for example. So that way, when I look at my day, I know what I'm spending certain hours doing and it's just done, right? Let your calendar make the decision for you. When you know it's on your calendar, it's much less easier to break that arrangement because it's already scheduled time that has been allotted for, okay? So that's a really great way to hold yourself accountable and to practice and have the discipline to do certain things at certain times. For me, I know my best content creation typically happens in the morning and my best lives as well typically happen in the morning. So I'm gonna make sure I set aside time to get that done and then the rest of the day is used towards other activities, okay? My third tip for being more productive would definitely be to enlist help where you can, okay? Now I want you to realize that starting your business, scaling your business, you do not have to do everything by yourself. Delegation is the name of the game. So I want you to comment delegate below, okay? Delegation can be the name of the game. And even if it is just you getting help from a friend, a colleague, or hiring someone on fiverr.com or onlinejobs.ph, okay? This is where you can hire a virtual assistant um, to do certain tasks for you for 10 hours a week. Usually you can pay that person $10 an hour or $250 for the month if you use onlinejobs.ph. Now those are going to be people working in the Philippines, but I've had nothing but positive experiences there using that platform, so it can be a great option. And this can allow you to get certain things off your plate, certain mundane tasks like customer service, like fixing your website, like et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That way you can stay in your zone of genius 
and stick to your time blocks and do what needs to be done in your business while someone else handles some of the behind the scenes work that you can work on later, okay? My fourth tip for helping you all to be productive in your business as well as in your life is to set your intentions every Sunday for the week you want to have and then every night before you start your day, set your intentions, write your list of to-dos, review your calendar, and just overall focus on the type of day you want to have. Now, this is really a big key in visualization and manifestation, but I want you all to realize how important this is because having your business, running your business, and scaling your business is part strategy. Yes, part strategy, part systems, all of that, but another huge part of it is mindset and visualization and intention, right? I have better days when I set my mind to having better days. When I set my list for the week on the Sunday before, even if some things depart and I don't get to do everything on that list, the fact that I have set my mind to it and kept my focus on it makes a huge, huge difference, right? This is how we can create more productivity in our lives by looking at what we need to do on a weekly basis and setting up our daily list to accomplish that. So that way we're not flailing every day, not knowing what needs to be done or you know, unsure about what needs to be on your list, but really looking at our weeks as a holistic time frame and setting up your to-do list, setting up your activities, setting up your time blocks to ensure that everything you need to get done in that week gets done, okay? So those are things that are really, really helpful to increasing your productivity, overall increasing your mindset as well about your business. And one bonus tip I want to give you, especially if you're a mom and you also have a job, I would definitely recommend you to get up earlier earlier than your kids, earlier than you may be getting up right now, and have 30 minutes to yourself at the beginning of the day. So even if that 30 minutes is spent with you reading, sitting, meditating, or just drinking a nice cup of tea or coffee, that alone time and allowing yourself to lock in and zone in, review your calendar, review your to-do list for the day, it can really change the entire outlook of that day and of that week. Because I wanna tell you guys, the first 15 to 20 minutes from when you wake up are so precious. That is when your brain is like first opening, that is when your mind is, and your subconscious mind are the most impressionable in terms of what you want to see come to reality for you in that day. So you wanna protect that space as much as possible. Before your kids come start asking for Robux or before your kids come and start asking for breakfast or a snack, do your best to cultivate 20 to 30 minutes of that alone time in the morning to ensure that you are able to be in control of how your day turns out, right? So I want you all to use all of these tips and the bonus tip and let me know how it goes. Comment down below how your productivity is right now. Are you a procrastinator? I know I can be, so if you need help with procrastination too, I can totally make a video on that because it's something we all struggle with. So like this video, comment down below any questions that you have, and of course, subscribe to my channel. I look forward to connecting with you guys also on Instagram and TikTok so I can continue bringing y'all more valuable content. Talk to you soon. Bye.